Hello everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide. This time on what do indexable and non-indexable actually mean? Well, every URL discovered in the crawl is classified as either indexable or non-indexable. And this can be seen in the indexability column here. Indexable means a URL that can be crawled, responds with a 200 status code, and is permitted to be indexed. So it has the right setup to have it content crawled and for it to be indexed. Non-indexable is quite the opposite. So it's a URL that either can't be crawled, doesn't respond with the 200 status code, or has a specific instruction not to be indexed. Now, every non-indexable URL has an indexability status associated with it, which can be seen in this column here. This explains quickly why it isn't indexable. And if I run a quick search for non-indexable URLs, just make sure that I'm searching the indexability column, I can see all the non-indexable URLs in this uh, example crawl that I've made and all the different varieties of indexability status. So redirected URLs, canonicalize, block by robots.txt. And if I scroll down, there's also some no index URLs here as well. So the idea of indexability is that it's a very quick way to better understand the status of a URL and whether it might have a problem with the content either being crawled or indexed. So non-indexable URLs can include URLs that are blocked by robots.txt, meaning they can't be crawled, no response, so connection timeouts, connection refused, again, so they can't be crawled, or URLs that are redirected, so 301s, 302s, 307s, meta refreshes, or JavaScript redirects, errors like client errors, so 404, server errors, so internal server errors and things like that, or instructions like no index or none, canonicalized URLs or URLs that only have internal links that are no followed. So any URLs that might have problems having their content crawled and being indexed at the same time. And all of these items that I just mentioned can be found under the usual tabs and filters. So if I wanted to see any URLs that are blocked by robots.txt, I can look under response codes and click on robots.txt filter or any URLs that might be 404s and so on and so forth. So there's a couple of important things to remember around indexability. First of all, indexability is not saying Google will or won't index a URL. Ultimately, Google decides what it indexes. For example, canonicals are hints rather than directives. Indexability aims to inform you quickly about what you're instructing the search engines to do. So for canonical as an example, again, you're telling the search engine a URL is canonicalized, so indexing and link signals should be consolidated to another URL. Whether or not Google decides to actually canonicalize that URL and pass over the indexing link signals is completely up to them, obviously. So use indexability as a guide to what you're informing the search engines rather than what they are actually doing with a URL. There isn't currently an automated and scalable way to verify the index status of every URL. You need to manually use the URL inspection tool in Google Search Console still. But hopefully indexability and indexability status make it quick and easy for you to understand the potential indexability of a URL. That's everything on indexability. Until next time.